In today's digital world, it's really hard to go a day without using your phone. Mobile browsing, shopping, and general interacting is very quickly becoming just as common, if not more common, than doing so on your computer. So that means you need to make sure your website works just as well and looks just as good on mobile. A mobile optimized site makes your business more accessible. It can also boost engagement, improve your SEO, and lower your bounce rates. Because how often have you gone onto a website on your phone and it's literally so bad that you just quit out. So today we're going to talk about some of the key aspects of having a mobile friendly site and how to achieve that with our favorite website builder, Squarespace. So let's jump in. So what are the key elements of a mobile optimized site? First up is a responsive design. Having a responsive design means that your website automatically adjusts to fit the screen size perfectly no matter what device someone is using to view your website. If you're using or planning to use Squarespace, then your website is responsive by default. Squarespace automatically scales down your website to look relatively good on any screen size without having to do a thing. This includes flexible layouts like what you see here, Squarespace automatically stacks columns on top of each other instead of sitting side by side when viewed on a smaller screen to ensure that your site's content can be displayed clearly and remain readable. Squarespace also makes any image added to your website adaptive, so it'll automatically scale it down so that it fits well on any type of screen that it's being viewed on. It won't get too big and take up too much space, and it also won't get too small so that it can't clearly be seen. And the same goes for your text. You obviously want to have readable text, and Squarespace will automatically adjust the size of your text so that it's easy to read on the smaller mobile screen without needing to be zoomed in. All Squarespace websites are automatically touch-friendly, which means that buttons and links can be tapped with a finger, which is super nice since pretty much everyone has a smartphone these days. And the last thing that we love about Squarespace's responsiveness is that the new Fluid Engine Editor allows you to customize your mobile site almost entirely independently from the desktop version. The next key element is fast Fast loading times. So having a site that loads quickly is crucial to keep visitors on your site and engaged. In today's fast-paced world, people expect things to happen super quickly, especially when they're browsing on their phones. And if a website takes too long to load, most people are just going to give up and go somewhere else, which will cost you precious traffic. But it's not just about keeping your site visitors happy, because search engines like Google also pay attention to how fast a website loads on mobile devices. They want to make sure that users have the very best experience, so if your site is slow, it might not show up as high in search results, making it harder for new people to find your site. Now, while Squarespace does automatically optimize your site for mobile, there are a few extra things that you can do to ensure faster loading times. First up is optimize your images. Super large images contribute significantly to poor loading speeds on mobile specifically. They require more internet data and a stable connection to load, which may not always be available when you're on the go. So you'll want to make sure that all of the images that you upload to your site are compressed and aim for a page size below 5 MB. You can use a compressing site like TinyPNG, which allows you to upload your larger images and it automatically converts them for you into a smaller size. Once you've done that, you'll also want to be sure to rename all of your images within Squarespace so that your SEO is on point. Another way to reduce your loading times is to minimize your advanced code usage. Similar to uploading really large images, complicated code can slow down your website a lot. If you have a ton of external plugins or complex JavaScript that can make things pretty sluggish, so you'll want to avoid doing too much of that and utilize Squarespace's built-in tools whenever possible. Custom CSS isn't as big of an issue, but if you do ever need to utilize it, be sure to keep it as simple and tidy as possible. Squarespace has a handy accelerated mobile pages feature that can be enabled to improve your blog's loading speed. Now, one important thing to note with this feature is that it does completely strip your blog posts down to the basics. So any extra styling that's been done to the blog post is going to be completely white. Your blog will be on a white background and it'll use a simple text font to keep everything really simple and streamlined, which allows it to load faster. This means that any custom styling that you've done to your post, including colors and fonts and some other design elements, are going to be wiped. However, faster loading times mean visitors will be more likely to actually read through your blog, and it will also rank better in Google. 
So this is something that you kind of just need to weigh out for yourself and your business personally to see if it's worth it or not. And the final key element to a mobile optimized site is easy navigation. A website's navigation should be intuitive and straightforward regardless, but sometimes scaling down the navigation that you've created for your desktop view can make things unreadable, busy, or in the way while viewing it on mobile. Thankfully, Squarespace automatically turns your navigation into a drop-down menu using a little quote unquote hamburger icon that is easily accessible in the top right hand corner of every page of your website, making it really easy to use on a smaller screen. Both this icon and the drop down menu for mobile are also customizable in Squarespace, which helps you create the very best mobile friendly version possible. Okay, now that we've gone over the key elements, how do you actually optimize your Squarespace site for mobile? Well, if you don't have a website just yet, or you're planning on a major revamp, then the first thing you might think about doing is choosing a website template that's already mobile responsive. All of our premium Squarespace templates have been strategically designed to look just as good on mobile as they do on desktop. They prioritize responsiveness, fast loading speeds, and super easy to read layouts. And better yet, we've already put in the work to entirely redesign the mobile version of each of our 7.1 templates, meaning that each template comes with a completely custom mobile design that you can fully control and adapt to any changes that you want to make. To check out exactly how the mobile version of your favorite template is going to look, go ahead and click on the template and then view the live demo by clicking on this view live demo button. You can either view this directly on your mobile device so that you already know exactly how it's gonna look, or you can just view it on desktop and then scale down your window to roughly the size of a phone so that you can then scroll through and see how everything is going to translate. If this is the route that you're gonna take, you'll just wanna make sure to look for templates that maintain a clean and organized layout on smaller screens that will work well with your unique content. Now, if you already have a Squarespace website that you DIY'd yourself, or if you've decided that that's the route you wanna take, Knowing how to customize the mobile version of your site is a key part of the process. Like I mentioned before, one of the things that we love most about Squarespace 7.1's new Fluid Engine Editor is that you can actually customize your mobile site almost entirely independently from the desktop version. To view and edit the mobile version of your Squarespace site, click on the little mobile icon in the top right hand corner. And once you're in this view, you can go ahead and click edit to enter editing mode. So what exactly is independent? Well, first and most importantly is block position. So you can actually resize, rearrange, and remove blocks anywhere you want on mobile view, and it will not affect the view on your desktop at all. You can move things around to create a completely unique layout if that's what you wanna do. The second thing that's completely independent on mobile view is row count. So if you're not completely familiar with Fluid Engine, each of the sections are built on this Fluid Engine grid. And the nice thing here is that you can adjust each of the sections to be shorter or longer, depending on how you reposition the blocks so that there's no unnecessary space. So now let's talk about the elements that are not independent on mobile view. First is block content. So things like your images, your actual text, and even some of the alignment features within the blocks are not independent on mobile view. Those things are global and they will affect both desktop and mobile. You also unfortunately cannot completely delete a block. If you do that, it will disappear on desktop as well. You can, however, sometimes sneakily hide blocks behind other blocks or use CSS code if you really need to. And finally, your site styles, so colors, fonts, and other things that you customize over here in this site styles panel are also global and remain the same across desktop and mobile. There are some unique settings for certain mobile only elements, for example, your mobile logo. However, there aren't many of those and it's kind of just a case by case basis. So it's usually best to just assume that all site styles are universal. So if that's Squarespace 7.1, then what about customizing your mobile view in 7.0? While it's not possible to design your mobile site separately in the older 7.0 or classic editor, Squarespace will still automatically optimize the mobile version of your site for you. To view your mobile site in 7.0, hover over this bar at the very top of the screen and click the arrow, and then choose the very left phone view. Even though mobile on 7.0 can look a little bit clunky and is limited in terms of customization, there are still a few things that you can do when creating the desktop version to ensure that the mobile view is at its best. 
the first thing that you can do is reconfigure your spacer blocks. So sometimes in the mobile view, you'll notice that there's a lot of spacing that you don't want to be there. For example, in between these two images. And usually this comes down to the use of spacers. So if I go back into the desktop view and navigate to this section and click on edit, you'll see that in between these two images, I just have one long spacer, which is creating that big empty space. And while that might look okay on desktop view, it's not exactly how I want it to look on mobile. A cool little hack for this is instead of using one long spacer to use two spacers side by side. So if I click to add another spacer and add it next to that other one, I now have two spacers here and Squarespace is actually going to cancel those two spacers out. So when I save that, and head back into mobile view, you'll see that that space that was there before is completely gone because Squarespace canceled out the two spacers that I had. This is a super nice and easy hack to remove any extra spacing on mobile view that you don't like. Another thing that you can adjust is the focal point of an image. So if for some reason you don't like how an image is cropped when resized for mobile, you can go ahead and adjust the focal point in desktop view of where you'd like the image focus to be. So again, if I go back into desktop and edit this section, you can click into this image and then click on the pencil edit icon. And in this window where the image is, you'll see this little circle focal point indicator. I can click and move that anywhere I want around the image and it's going to change the focal point of the image. So if I put it all the way to the left bottom corner, that's gonna be the center point of the image. Same for if I put it at the very top, the very bottom, to the very side, and so on. The adjustment of the focal point will then be reflected in mobile view. And this is particularly relevant for background banner images. If you have a really large image and you wanna make sure that it's focused on the right place. Once you're happy with how your website design looks, regardless of which version you're in, the most important thing you can do is test how things look on various devices and browsers. This is essential to making sure that you're providing a consistent experience for all of your users. Simply open up your website on your phone, your mom's phone, your sister's iPad, your dad's laptop, and see how it's all looking and if you can make any changes to better it. Like I showed you earlier, you can also just remain in desktop view and resize your browser to be different screen sizes. You can then scroll through and make sure that everything looks how you want it to look that way. You can also always use a tool like Google's mobile friendly test, AKA Lighthouse, to check your mobile site's responsiveness and identify any issues. Tools like this provide helpful recommendations that you can take on board and fix like images that should be optimized, unused CSS that can be discarded or text that is difficult to read. All in all, optimizing your Squarespace website for mobile is a critical step in providing the very best user experience that you can and boosting your site's performance. By focusing on a responsive design, fast loading times, easy navigation, and utilizing Squarespace's customization tools, you can create a mobile-friendly site that looks and works great. I hope this was a helpful walkthrough for you guys. If you enjoyed watching and want some more Squarespace tutorials, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We post new videos every single week and we'll see you in the next one.